Hello my friends, how are you doing? Germain here in Montreal, Canada. It's been a while since we talked and I promised to talk about smoking. I will talk about how I started, why I was smoking and how I stopped smoking once for all. Well, I started to smoke when I was 28. That was back in 2006 when I was still living in Denmark. I therefore profit this chance to say a word to my friends who are still living there. For then God and Minivan, Yahoba et he had a right God. Elas, the mit ons katia, Yahoba et viska mus again in the Ephraim tune. Mogul ve sainaya. Amen. Back to smoking, I had never anticipated that I would find myself in such a situation, smoking situation. Because no one could ever smoke around me within two to five meters back in time. But fortunately, not unfortunately, it happened. I learned it from someone we used to hang up together almost every weekend or every second weekend. Then I started to buy a cigarette myself and became a smoker officially. I take it as a testimony for my own life because this bad habit of smoking really changed my life once for all. The way you think with or without the influence of cigarettes, it's not the same. When you are under cigarette influence, you make your brain behave the way you want to. It gives the peace of mind, they say, which I agree pretty much with. So, in order to keep having this kind of peace of mind, you have to replace it with something else. For me, that something else wasn't any other thing other than the Word of God. I remember, when I was still smoking, my heart used to ask my mind, why are you doing this to me? That was my heart asking my mind, why are you doing this to me? As I trust my heart and love my heart so much, I knew right away that something had to be changed. Long story short, I had tried to quit several times with no success either. Cold turkey way, nicotine air, or other ways with no success. Then I heard a voice telling me to buy a Bible and start reading it. That was on June 1st, 2016, just last year, while I was reading the book of Exodus, where the people of God were moving from Egypt. You know, they started from Ramses, then they went to Sinai, Asian, then they arrived to wilderness camp before reaching to Kadesh. They set up the tent of God, and God looked to the tent, was very, very, very happy, and said, The work is done. So when God said, The work is done, by looking to the tent, in my mind, I received cigarette is done so god said the work is done and received cigarette is done so i know if you are still smoking i know you know it's bad and you want to quit i know this i've been there i've done it i've seen it i lived it 
and survived it. You too can start slowly, slowly, but surely. You can stop smoking. It's possible. Sure, you can. I used to tell myself, look at those fellow smokers. How they look. Am I going to look the same way? Like those guys within five, ten years, really? Then I said to myself, this must end. But I did not know how. Only the word of God made it happen. Only the word of God made it happen. Amen. So when God was happy about the tent and said, the work is done, my mind received the cigarette is done. Period. My heart had done its very wonderful job. So if you really want to stop smoking, have the reverence for God. Fear God. Feel like God himself is telling you that you must stop. What you are doing to yourself is not good. Think in this way. So, that's what I did. That's what I made my heart to do to my brain. And God said, work is done. The mind received, cigarette is done. So, ever since... I have no need for cigarettes, I don't want cigarettes, and I don't think about cigarettes at all. I all think about God, my Savior. I all think about God, my Savior. That's why you see me alone posting tirelessly about God, because I know how good God has been to me, alright? So you too can live without smoking. Just surrender to God and you're going to stop smoking for sure. I promise you this. You will feel way much better than when smoking. Alright? Think about it. God bless you. And uh, bye for now. Amen. Shalom.